Huh. At this time, I'll call the regular meeting of the Perry City Council for Tuesday, January the 21st, 2020, to order. We have a quorum. Item three on our agenda is the invocation and pledge of allegiance to the flag. At this time, if you're able, I would invite you to stand for the invocation by Mayor Pro Tem King and the pledge of allegiance by Dr. Albert. Yes, I just please. Father God, we thank you so much for 2020. Pray now, Father, you continue to give us the wisdom here at the City Lord. As we move forward to, to enhance the City Lord, to make it better, I just thank you so much for each and every one here, Lord, on this council. And Lord, I thank you and I praise you. We ask you to bless our meeting. In Christ's name we pray. Amen. 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 I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, Liberty and justice for all. Thank you. Item four on our agenda is recognition and presentations. Item four A is the introduction of a new executive secretary, Ms. Natalie Rump. Thank you, Mayor. Mayor and Council, General Public. I'd like to introduce to you Ms. Natalie Rump, the new Executive Secretary for the Department of Public Works. Uh, Ms. Rump comes to us from Kelstrom Defense in Macon, where she has, uh, I think she worked there for a number of years in the, in the governmental sector. Prior to that, she came from the Board of Education in Peach, or the Board of Commissioners in Peach County as an E911 operator. And then prior to that, she did a stint with Peach County Public Works. She has an associate from Central Georgia Technical College and a bachelor's from Kaplan and lives in Byron with her four children. We welcome her. Anything you'd like to say, um, <laughs> <laughs> um, Just overwhelmed. It's a pleasure to be a part of the city. Very, I look forward to um, interacting with everyone and hopefully um, taking on the challenges and being an asset to the city of Thank you. Thank Welcome. You. Thank you very much. Glad to have you. Thank you. Item 4B is the introduction of new executive secretary, Ms. April Minshew. Thank you, Mayor. Mayor, Council, General Public, I would like to introduce you to April Minchu. This is the Executive Secretary in the City Attorney's Office. Um, April comes to us with over 10 years of administrative experience with her most recent employment being with Apple Care. Um, she has experience setting up multiple clinics from the ground up, and she's already um, been very helpful in establishing this office um, for the City Attorney as it's a new in-house position. Um, April and her husband and two sons live in Byron. We're very glad to have her. Welcome. Thank you. Thank glad you. that you've chosen Perry to work. We're yes. glad to have you yes. as part of our organization here. Thank, Thank you. you. It's been a pleasure meeting most of you. All of you have been very welcome. You know, I'm excited to be a part of the city of Perry. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Item 4C is the winner of the festive attire contest. It's not the festive attire that we have on tonight. <laughs> uh, this comes from our Christmas party. And I have to say that people work really hard to earn these awards. So if I could have Chief Parker join me down front. I don't know if you can see this or not, but this is a picture of Chief Parker <laughs> at the festive event with uh, things and people that enhance the picture. Chief, it's my pleasure to present you with the Tacky Christmas Award. <laughs> I don't know if I want to accept that or not. <laughs> Thank you very much. We appreciate it. Any yes, comments sir. about your... Well, um... I'll wear the same sweater again next year. It's that llama, so, you know. Can you hold the picture up with me? You want me to hold the picture up? Yes. Thank you. 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 Yes, sir. Thank Appreciate you. It. Thank Appreciate you. it. Thank you. Participating in the fun. It's always fun. All right. Mrs. Valerie Sanders.
Miss Sanders is being awarded the most festive outfit, and I have to agree with that. It could be the most original as well. But here's your gift card, and here is her picture, and it is uh, very, very festive. So. Thank you so Hold much. On. Hold on. <laughs> Hold on. You got a dog that can pee on my leg? Oh, that's <laughs> great. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you. And uh, the last one is the most original. And Mr. Smith, if you would come and take the award for Mrs. Anya Turpin. Sorry that she could not be here this evening, but she won the most original. There's a check, and here's her photograph, and it was truly original of uh, some type of uh, creative costume that she put together. So, and would you pass that along to her? I'd appreciate it. Absolutely. Thank you, sir. Thank you. <coughs> Not can tell you, fun was had by everyone. <laughs> Item five is community partner updates. So are there any community partners here with us this evening that would like to update council at this time? Thank you. Item six is mayor and council appointments. Item six A are Mayor Pro Tem Willie King's appointments to various boards as just to give you a little update as a council member's term expires the members of boards and commissions that were appointed by that council person their terms expire as well so they need to either be reappointed or in this case we will have a new appointment for an open seat on the downtown development authority mr king thank you Ma'am, I'd like to uh, nominate uh, the Downtown Development Authority, Monica Bucker, and then uh, for the Perry Public Facility Authority, Clark Lockett, the Perry Planning Commission, Mr. So Lawrence Clement. Thank you, Mr. King. Council members, you've heard the nominations uh, by Ms. King at this time. I'll entertain a motion to approve those appointments. So I'll move second. There's a motion and a second. All in favor, please indicate by raising your right hand. Please let the record show that all were appointed unanimously. Mm -hmm. Item 6B are Council Member Joy Peterson's nominations. Thank you, Mr. Mayor. Uh, for the Perry Public Arts Commission, uh, Tyler Bryant. For Perry Public Facilities Authority, Suzanne Burkhart. For Perry Planning Commission, D, uh, Charlie Griffiths. And for Downtown Development Authority, Dee Palmer. Thank you. Council members, you've heard the nominations from Council Member Peterson. At this time, I'll entertain a motion to accept the appointments as recommended. So moved. There's a motion and a second. All in favor, please indicate by raising your right hand. Appointments were approved unanimously. Thank you. 6C are Council Member Riley Hunt's appointments. Uh, Mr. Hunt. Uh, for Perry Public Facilities Authority, Felix Smith. Here. Here, Public Park Commission, Vicki Andrews. Here, Planning Commission, Weiss Cootie. Downtown Development Authority, Tyler Melvin. Thank you, Mr. Hunt. Council members, you've heard the nominations from uh, Council Member Hunt. At this time, I will accept a, I entertain a motion to approve the appointments as outlined. So moved. Second. Motion second. All in favor, please indicate by raising your right hand. Appointments were approved unanimously. Thank you. Item seven are citizens with input. Are there any citizens here this evening that would like to address council at this time? <laughs> Thank you. Item eight are review of the minutes. Eight eight. Council members, you have been provided the minutes from the January 7, 2020 pre-council meeting and the January 7, 2020 council meeting. At this time, I'll entertain a motion 
to accept these minutes as presented. No, second. Motion and a second. Are there any additions, deletions, or changes that might need to be made to these minutes? Hearing none, all in favor of accepting the minutes as presented, please raise your right hand. Please let the record show the minutes were approved unanimously. Thank you. Item nine is old business. 9A is ordinances for second reading and adoption. Uh, council members, we will vote on these ordinances this evening as it is the second reading of, of them. Item 9A1 is the second reading of a rezoning for property from R-AG Residential Agricultural District and PUD Planned Unit Development District to C-1 Highway Commercial District. The property is located at Georgia Highway 127. The tax map number is 0P06100028000. Mr. Wood. Thank you, Mayor. Mayor and Council, this request is for a piece of property which is located on Highway 127, which is located in this area. You see that the um, it's located just uh, south of the intersection of Langston Road coming into Highway uh, 127. The property is located here and is a 22-acre parcel. It is uh, because of the has been combined and recombined. Uh, it used to be part of a larger tract uh, that was zoned uh, PUD. It also has a portion of a parcel that was um, originally zoned RAG, and those have been combined to create this tract, and therefore the reason for the two zoning classifications. Um, the um, property is proposed as C1. Uh, it is adjacent to properties in this area which are currently zoned C2 creating a commercial node in this area. Uh, this is the Foundations Academy and Dr. Kingsley's dentist office located here, so it's just south of that. Uh, the Planning Commission and, and staff both recommend approval of the requested C1 zoning classification. I'll be happy to answer any questions you have. What questions do you have for Mr. Wood? Thank you. Is there anyone here this evening that have any comments relative to this ordinance? <clears throat> Hearing none, at this time, I'll entertain a motion that we approve this ordinance as outlined by Mr. Wood. Second. Motion and second. All in favor, please indicate by raising your right hand. Please let the record show the ordinance was approved unanimously. Item 9A2 is a second reading of an ordinance amending the FY 2020 operating budget. Mr. Gilmore. Thank you, Mayor. Mayor and Council, in your board pack, you have a copy of this proposed ordinance. This ordinance amends the funds for revenues and expenditures that are known at least through December, as well as making some adjustments that you have directed over the year. We recommend to you to adopt. What questions, council members, do you have, Mr. Gilmore, relative to this ordinance amending the FY 2020 operating budget? Is there anyone here this evening that have any comments relative to this ordinance? Thank you. Hearing none, council members, at this time I'll entertain a motion that we approve the ordinance amending the FY 2020 operating budget as outlined by Mr. Gilmore. So moved. Second. There's a motion and a second. All in favor, please say aye. 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 All opposed, saying thank you. The ordinance was approved unanimously. I know, I didn't do it on the first one. Um, item 10, any other old business? Uh, as far as 10A, I do not have any other old business. Item 10B, council members, Ms. Bonham Grace? I have none. Mr. Jones? No. Dr. Albritton? No. Mr. Hunt? No, sir. Ms. Peterson? No, sir. Mr. Keaton? No, sir. Ms. Newby? No, sir. Mr. Smith, anything from the assistant city manager? No, sir. Mr. Gilmore, anything from the city manager? 
No, sir. Thank you. Item 11 is new business 11A or matters referred from the January 13th, 2020 work session and our January 21st, 2020 free council <coughs> meeting. Item 11A1 is a resolution adopting additional positions. Mr. Gilmore. Thank you, Mayor. Mayor and Council, in your board pack, you have a resolution which is adding four positions uh, and also changing a fifth position from part-time to full-time. This follows a discussion you had at your work session we recommend to you to adopt. What questions do you have, Mr. Gilmore, relative to these changes or new positions and changes in the point? Hearing none, at this time I'll entertain a motion that we approve the resolution adopting these additional positions. Second. A motion is second. I'll indicate but all in favor please indicate by raising your right hand. Please let the record show that the resolution was approved unanimously. Item 11A2 is a resolution establishing, establishing zoning process procedures process. Uh, Ms. Newby? Thank you, Mayor. Mayor and Council, um, in your board pass, you have a copy of the resolution that's been prepared um, coming out of the work session that we had last week dealing with the policies and procedures to be adopted for conducting public hearings, specifically under the zoning procedures law. Um, they will, if this, once this resolution is adopted, a copy of the procedures would be made available at every public hearing that we have um, it's for your consideration. What questions do you have relative to the new zoning procedures process as outlined by Ms. Stupid? Hearing none at this time, I will entertain a, a motion to uh, approve the zoning procedures process as outlined. So, okay. sure. The motion is second. All in favor, please raise your right hand. The resolution was approved unanimously. Thank you. Item 11B is awards of bids. 11B1 is bid number 2020-19, Patrol Utility Vehicles. Mr. Worthington. Uh, thank you, Mayor and Council. Uh, bid 2020-19 is for the purchase of two utility vehicles for our patrol unit. Um, we followed all of our standard procedures in advertising this bid. We received three responsive bids. Uh, ranging from $70,930 to $75,355.76. Uh, it would be staff's recommendation that we would award this to the low bidder who was Wade Ford Inc., uh, but give Phil Brennan Ford of Perry, who is the local vendor, uh, the option to exercise the local vendor preference clause, which would be to match the low bidder. Thank you, Mr. President. Council members, any questions relative? to this bid for the patrol utility bids. If not, at this time, we'll entertain a motion to accept the bid as outlined. So moved. Second. The motion is second. All in favor, please indicate by raising your right hand. Please let the record show that the bid was approved unanimously. Bid 11B2 is bid number 2020-20. It's a patrol pursuit pickup truck. Mr. Worthington. Thank you again, Mayor. Uh, Mayor and Council, this bid was for the purchase of three of the pursuit rated pickup trucks. Uh, once again, we followed all of our standard practices in advertising. We received three responsive bids, uh, ranging from $105,195 to $116,144.28. Uh, it would be staff's recommendation that we award this to Wade Ford. Uh, in the amount of $105,195, the local vendor preference would not apply to this bid. Thank you. What questions do you have relative to the patrol pursuit pickups? Hearing none, I'll, at this time I'll entertain a motion to approve the bid as presented. So oh, second. There's a motion and second. All in favor, please indicate by raising your right hand. Please let the record show that the bid was approved unanimously. Item 11B3 is bid number 2020-21, and this is for a CID SUV, Mr. Worthington. Thank you again, sir. Uh, Mayor and Council, this was for the purchase of one SUV for our CID division within the police department. Um, we followed all of our standard practices 
and received bids ranging from $35,598 to $37,457.88. It would be staff's recommendation that we award this to the low bidder who was Wade Ford, um, but give Phil Rennie Ford of Perry, who is the local vendor, the option to exercise that local vendor preference clause because they were within the 7% threshold. Thank you. What questions do you have for Mr. Worthington relative to the CID SUV? Hearing none, at this time I'll entertain a motion to approve the bid as presented. So, so moved. Second. There's a motion and a second. All in favor, please indicate by raising your right hand. Please let the record show that the bid was approved unanimously. Uh, item 11B4 is bid number 2020-22, and this is for an animal control pickup truck, Mr. Worthington. Uh, thank you, Mayor. Last vehicle tonight, I promise. Um, this is for the purchase of a new animal control pickup truck for our animal control division, obviously. Uh, we received two bids, ranging from $45,252.72 to $48,708.52. It's staff recommendation that we award this to the low bidder, who was prayed for in the amount of $45,252.72. Council members, what question do you have relative to the bid for the animal control pickup? Where is that company located? Calhoun, Georgia. Thank you. Any other questions? Hearing none at this time, I'll entertain a motion to approve the bid as presented for the animal control pickup truck. Second. Motion and a second. All in favor, please indicate by raising your right hand. Please let the record show that the bid was approved unanimously. Item 11B5 is bid number 2020-23, and that's for an SCBA equipment. Mr. Worthington. Uh, thank you, Mayor. Um, this is for the purchase of actually 27 units of SCBA equipment. I don't have that on the slide, but that's how many we're purchasing. Um, I would like to point out that the funding is 95% from a FEMA grant, so we're not spending that whole $188,000, we are spending federal dollars. Um, but we advertised this uh, through our standard practices. We received um, two responsive bidders, ranging from $188,997 to $208,430.26. Uh, we did receive two unresponsive bids, but that's because they did not meet the specifications. Um, it would be staff's recommendation that we would award this to the loop low bidder, who was Municipal Emergency Services, Inc in the amount of $188,997. Okay. What questions do you have relative to this equipment purchase? Chief, can I ask what SCBA stands for? Uh, Self-contained breathing apparatus. Okay. That's okay. the tank you see on the back of the mask. All right. I appreciate that. Yes, sir. Our, this bid does also include new masks. Um, but I could not find the stock image that included masks. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you. Any other questions relative to this equipment? Hearing none, at this time I'll entertain a motion that we approve the bid request as outlined. Okay. Motion is second. All in favor, please indicate by raising your right hand. <coughs> please let the record show that the bid was approved unanimously. Thank you, Mr. Worthington. Thank you, Mayor. Item 12 is council member items. Ms. Bottom Grace? I have that. Mr. Jones? No, sir. Mr. Albert, Mr. Hunt, Mr. Peterson, yes, Mr. King, yes, sir. thank you. Mr. Newby, yes, sir. Mm -hmm. yes, sir. Mr. Smith, no, sir. Mr. Manager, no, sir. Yes, sir. Item 13 is department head items. <coughs> Excuse me, Mr. Wood, nothing tonight, sir. Mr. Smith, anything from the Public Works? No, sir. Ms. Parker, I mean, Ms. Clark, Ms. Clark, anything? No, sir, it's not tonight. Thank you, Ms. Bell, were you getting over here? It's all good. <laughs> Ms. Warren? No, sir. Mr. Swan? No, sir. Chief Lynn? Thank you all for the vehicles, but other than that, no. <laughs> <laughs> now, Chief Parker. <laughs> Nothing further tonight, sir. Mr. Worthington? Yes, sir. Thank you. Appreciate it. Is there anyone in the general public that would like to address mayor and council at this time? 
It's up to you. I know. <laughs> I can't take the pressure. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you. Item 15 is mayor items, and the uh, thing I have is to remind everybody that our next meeting will be on February the 3rd. It'll be a work session. It'll be in uh, this uh, meeting room here. Then our uh, normal meetings on Tuesday will be our pre-council meeting upstairs at 5 o'clock and our council meeting here at 6 o'clock. I do remind you that all of our meetings are open to the public and we would appreciate and encourage your attendance. So if there is nothing else to come before us this evening, we will stand adjourned. Thank you for your interest and participation.